So the other day I was trying to print a shelf like this for my desk. However, I woke up in the morning and saw the print looking like this completely failed. And you can see that something happened such that one of the axes shifted its home position and caused one of the layers to be shifted by about 20 millimeters. On top of that, it ended up breaking half of my extruder fans duct. All this is because the Flash Forge Adventure 4 that I got, its print bed was not leveled. So in this video, I'm going to attempt to solve that by showing you one way that you can level your printer bed. So this is a process to level a gantry with the printer bed. And to do this, I'm actually going to adjust the nuts on the lead screws, at least on one end. So how I'll confirm how the gantry is actually not level is I'll be taking measurements from both sides of the gantry on the left and the right side to the bed. So I'll take my calipers and set them up so I'm measuring from the top rail. I'll do this on both the left and the right side. On the left side, the caliper is read 113.18. The measurement on the right side reads 112.93. So the difference between the two sides is 0.25 millimeters, which is just more than a layer height, which I set at 0.2. They claim that the whole flatness difference is less than 0.15 millimeters. In my measurements, I measured 0.25, which is almost two times worse than what they claimed. So the next thing I'm going to do is take these Allen keys and I'll take the 2.5 millimeter one and undo the four bolts so that the nut can spin freely. The reason why I have to take off the bolts is because if I spin one screw, you can see the other screws also moving as well. So they're tied together up top. I used the paper towel here so that any of my sweat would not get on the lead screw. Now is the time to release all four bolts and it was a struggle. I ended up using a screwdriver which was a lot easier to maneuver than this hex key. All in all, this process took me about five minutes. Another tip that I have is to cover up the holes for the Y-axis linear bearings, because if the screw drops down there, you're gonna have to unscrew 10 screws at the bottom in order to remove the bottom cover. So the left side was a little bit further away from the bed than the right side, so I needed to bring the left side down by about 0.25 millimeters. Every so often when I would spin the nut, I would also check the measurement and readjust. So here I'm doing the final checks, doing a check on the left side, as well as doing a check on the right side to see if they're about even. Now I put one single bolt to secure the nut to the gantry, and then I would jog the printer head from left to right with the shim underneath and see if the pressure on the shim was pretty much even across the entire bed left and right as well as forwards and backwards just to make sure that the bed was level all around. Also if you're messing with your printer and you happen to touch the rails which the ball bearings ride on, be sure to apply some grease afterwards. A very light coat and jog your X and Y axis back and forth to make sure there's no jittering sounds. So this was my first attempt at leveling the bed on the Adventure 4 and I would say I had about mild success with it. One of the caveats behind this leveling method is the fact that the lead screw, I think, adjusts about three millimeters each revolution. However, for you adjusting the nut, you only have quarter turn revolutions that you can adjust the nut in. Meaning that if you do three divided by four, that's about 0.75 millimeters of height adjustment that you can do each time. So you're not even able to adjust down to about 0.2 or even 0.1 millimeters. Ideally, I would want to adjust at 0.05 millimeter increments. And this being my first shot, I didn't really want to open the printer just quite yet in case it voids warranty. I'm still in contact with support from Flash Forge USA. The print that I did to test my leveling job was basically printing a strip of filament across the bed at the front, the middle, and the back of the bed. That way I could test the entire bed with a very quick print that took about maybe two minutes or so. If you're confused as to why I'm doing this and why I'm not using nine point calibration, well, I'll tell you this. I did use nine point calibration, but it's not what you guys think it is. I will be releasing a video on nine point calibration and what exactly it does. So if you're interested in that, please leave a like down below as well as subscribe to this channel. But if you're frustrated and not really mechanically inclined, then you might want to contact the support team at FlashForge. I left their email down below in the description if you're in the USA, or I think you can contact them if you bought in Canada as well. I have some other methods up my sleeve that I think could work, and I'll release those in a part two video of me leveling my Adventurer 4. I know a couple of you in the comments have also found the same problems that I have, so hopefully you can follow along, try to learn something, and maybe let me know if you find a better solution. And that's a wrap.